predators everywhere. And this kid didn't just get scooped up. Well, hey YouTube, Ari Rose here today coming at you with a story time. I wanted to share with you guys the story of how Vinny, my eldest ferret, became a legend. Okay, so here's the thing. This kid used to be crazy, uh, running around all the time, trying to get outside, climbing the fences. Uh, he used to scratch at the door and you never think that they'd get out, okay? First off, let me clarify by saying, him scratching at the door is not how he got outside. Um, my boyfriend, my fiance, uh, he decided that at 3 a.m. that he was going to continue working on his car and leave the door open for our apartment all night. Well, my son saw that as the perfect opportunity to just... Um, he bolted. Uh, I woke up at about 5 a.m. the next morning because I go to sleep sound and early like a normal human being. Um, yeah, well, I woke up at 5.30 the next morning. <sighs> Did my normal thing. I showered, you know, and went to the bathroom, normal people stuff. Came out here to see the door. I could fit through that door. Anybody could have seen that our door was open, firstly. Luckily, we didn't have any lights on and nothing was stolen. We weren't jacked. Everybody was safe. Well, mostly everybody, that is. My son. Vinny D. My son. He decided to take a stroll. Now, that's not what makes him legendary. No. No, 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 that could not be the slightest heart attack that I had. There was more, there was more to this story. Okay, no, my son, you guys. My son, you guys. <sighs> he was missing. My son was missing for 13 whole days. Now that may not seem like long for you, but I don't know how long any of your pets have gone missing and then just appeared, okay? But he was missing for 13 whole days. Ferrets, much like dogs, live about seven years to our one year. So that time for him was about a couple of months. He barely knew us when we got back. Ferrets, guys, are only supposed to last outside on their own maybe about four days. Four. Max, I found, was four. Now my legend, my son. Thirteen days in the cold. It's about maybe 40 degrees at night times. And he already shed his fur for the season. Oh, he has an issue with drinking water and staying hydrated. So, I honestly don't know how this kid survived. One more thing, we live in Arizona, the desert, where there are crazy predators everywhere. And this kid didn't just get scooped up. No, he's somehow made it out alive. Funniest thing is we put posters up, we walked around, we biked around, we drove around, we called for him, we crawled on our knees, everywhere. For about the duration of six days, because we wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt, right? Well, they took our posters down after maybe two days. And, well, I, needless to say, I was heartbroken. I never thought we were gonna find him. I thought he had been eaten. I thought he 
had been taken by somebody else, hopefully that somebody else had taken them into their home. Nope. One morning, early ass in the morning, getting my boyfriend ready for work, sending him out the door, and he had a very loud car at the time. He would turn it on and I could hear it. My parking lot's way over there on the other side of the building and you can hear it from inside my house. And I just put it idling outside. I thought, that's so weird. Turns out he had gotten all ready to go and somebody had waved him down. He turned right around right next to our house and stopped back in our parking lot. He had a sign, I don't know if it was our sign or if it was a sign that he made, but it said either found ferret or lost ferret is what my husband said. He was a little disoriented as was I. But I run out there thinking, what the heck is he doing? Is he cheating? Is he next door with some other lady? And I just didn't know him all this time because I was sleeping in the morning. No, I walk out there and I hear him talking across the parking lot and I creep up and he's holding this. Now he was all covered in oil and he was raggedy and scrawny. And I'm sorry, this makes me a little emotional to talk about because we have our boy back, but they found him. I took him into my arms, we ran inside because it was freezing freaking cold, and we went straight to the shower because let me tell you, this kid was fucking dirty, and he stunk, but we got him back. Let me tell you, when we saw that man again, first off, we gave him a gift card for him and his daughter for finding him and secondly we asked him how long that he had him he told us he only had him an hour before we got him an hour before they found us and you know what they told us this motherfucker was sitting right around behind here where our parking lot is the whole damn time. They said that they kept seeing some crazy little cat running around in the bushes. Oh, that's my son. Well, I guess the moral of this story is lock your doors at night and don't get a pet that can climb fences. Because they're going to try to run away. I hope you enjoyed that story. Me and Vinny love you guys. We'll see you next time. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Please share with your friends. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.